Hey guys, Third Instill Gaming here with yet another video. On today's video, we're talking about Transformers Reactivate. Now, I said there was going to be a Transformers game shown at the Video Game Awards show. I it was a it was a pick out of left field, but I was right. And I want to break it down here. Before I get to that, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And as always, leave a comment down below on what you think about this trailer. All right, so we got some information from the press room from Splash Damage. It says the world exclusive reveal at the Game Awards offers a first look at the brand new Transformers video game. So London, United Kingdom, December 8th, 2022, Splash Damage, developer behind Dirty Bomb, Gear, Tactics, Wolfenstein, Enemy Territory, and today announced Transformers Reactivate, a one to four player online action game being developed in collaboration with Hasbro Inc. And this PC slash console co-op game will offer players an opportunity to explore a fresh new story within the Transformers universe. The Game Rewards saw the world exclusive reveal the Transformers Reactivate, offering fans a glimpse of what it can expect with the cinematic trailer. Now, the gravest threat to humanity has arrived, and it's already won, and Earth is no longer ours. It belongs to them, whoever those, whoever them is. You know, all we have left is our hope for the Autobots as we salvage them from the rubble left behind. Transformers Reactivate will offer players a chance to immerse themselves in a Transformers universe like never before, and they'll get into play as some of the their favorite characters, unique, way, and also powerful, seamlessly converting between vehicles and the bot form as they battle the Legion of the greatest threat of the Autobots have ever faced. But we have some pictures that we're going to look at here, and uh, it might tell a little bit about what we have here. So... Right off the bat, what I think is going to happen, it's a one to four player co-op game. They showed four players, okay? They show four human players in the first picture and uh, that I'm, I'm putting up on the screen, okay? Now, I'm assuming that we're going to be playing players and then certain missions, based on who you find and repair, you'll be able to use in battle or whatnot. I'm a little worried about this because a Transformers game is that I want to play Transformers. I want to be Bumblebee. I want to be Optimus Prime. I want to be Starscream or Soundwave. I want to be Transformers. I hope, for the God's sake, they don't make this where you're not a Transformer and you're just a human player in a Transformers world. Okay? So the second picture, they show New York. It looks like New York. I'm pretty sure it's New York. Yeah, it's New York. And there's a big giant ship crashing down inside Manhattan, and then a bunch of bugs come out. Now, I don't know if the people that are attacking or the aliens that are attacking are the Decepticons or if they're just another alien race that happen to be taking over uh, planet Earth. And the only people that can help is the Autobots because maybe they lost against the Decepticons or whatnot. Now, it is a four-player four player co-op game, so we'll see what that means. Now, the third picture that I want to show here is the bugs. Now, they almost look like something out of um, the old movie from uh, I, 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 Gal not, not Galvatron. Um, the little alien creatures with the tentacles. I forget what they are called, and I'm, I'm, I'm really mad about myself right now because I can't think of what the names of them are. But they almost look like also from the Matrix, the way they are. They're like octopus-type creatures. They also look like they have shark heads on them, and they have like fins coming off the sides of them. It looks very interesting. I don't know if this is, again, some sort of Insecticons or if this is a bigger creature as far as, like, maybe we're talking about Unicron and these are, like, part of Unicron's uh, lackeys or whatnot. The fourth picture that we have here is this giant, like, ogre, ape, rhino type of creature. The giant thing. It almost doesn't look robotic, but you do see robotic pieces on it. You have no idea what this is. This is definitely something uh, new and different. You can also see that the, the view that we're at, we're in car form. So I know this is in-game, like in-game trailer or whatnot, but you can see the front half of this gold car, which I assume could be Bumblebee or Gold Bug or maybe along the lines of that. Now in the fifth picture, we see a couple of little hints here. Okay, so on the screen, okay, you see the map of the United States. You see a ship in the screen on the upper right-hand corner. Then the second screen on the left-hand side, you see the Autobot symbol, and it branches off into six categories. Now, I don't know if this is some sort of skill tree 
or if this is the number of Autobots we can find in the game, like each of those emblems down below, if it's not a skill tree, it could be like Ratchet, Optimus Prime, Brawn, Jazz, Mirage, it, who knows what it could be, but it potentially could be that. I don't know if the, what this is. It's not a high enough res picture to see exactly what it is. The second picture in the second row is that beast we were talking about, and it shows like an X through one, and then it shows the other one. So it's it's giving us some sort of hint or whatnot. The third picture down below says Invasion Timeline. So this is definitely an invasion, and then the, there's another map about the world, and it has little bits and pieces on it. We can't see the bottom screen on the left-hand side, but we can see the bottom screen on the right-hand side. And if I zoom in as much as I can, it almost looks like this could be the rendition of, again, if it's a if it's a character we know, it looks potentially like Bumblebee, which it looks like it could be. Now, if you look in the far right corner, there's a robot back there. If you look at the head, it almost looks like Shockwave. It almost looks like Shockwave. I think it is Shockwave, if I'm not mistaken, which could be, if it is Shockwave, could mean that not only are you playing as the Autobots, even though it says Autobots, but he's a Decepticon, and you could be using the Decepticon technology as well. Now, there could be other hints and stuff. I'm doing a quick glance over of what we have here. There's also some sort of green robot in the background, but it looks like an arm. I don't know if it's a, a if it's a machine arm or if it's an actual robot arm, uh, but it looks like they're putting someone together in the background as well. And then the final picture that we have here, you see from the point of view of the robot, of the Autobot, of the person who you are, you see that he's being taped. You see tape literally on his on his uh, arm. His, uh, you know, he's got duct tape. The wires are exposed. It looks in bad shape. Now, there's some writing up over here on the left-hand side, which if those of you that can be scramble uh, the language, I'm sure it tells us exactly what it is, and I'll I'll let that out to you guys out there. But this is obviously they they choose this for a purpose, right? It's a yellow robot. The most famous yellow robot that we have here is Bumblebee. And a nice little little uh, point out here: if you look on the desk on the bottom left hand corner over here, that sure looks like Optimus Prime, and it almost looks like a toy of Optimus Prime sitting on the bottom corner there and it looks exactly like Optimus Prime there's one more shot here that I just want to pause on the video if you look at the vehicle on the right hand side it's an ambulance and I think it's ratchet I think 100% that's ratchet and then the other car I don't know it looks like a red and blue car like you can see the tone so maybe that's Optimus Prime it could be Braun. I mean they could be anybody but it looks like it might be Optimus Prime now Obviously, I don't think we're going to get the uh, original, uh, per se, G1, where Optimus Prime's the truck and Bumblebee's the, the, the Beetle and Ratchet's the ambulance. But I think along the way, there's going to be some sort of um, scanning process. You can change into the cars or certain cars, wherever dystopian future or past that this is in. Uh, and it's very interesting. Uh, I, I'm very excited to see what characters they bring to this game uh, i'm very excited to find out a lot more about this and sign up for the beta and get involved uh with this it was it's it is using the unreal engine uh let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below please make sure you share like and subscribe and as always i appreciate you watching these videos and i'll see you guys on the next one take care